Hello and welcome to another exciting new episode of Serious okay. News with SBA Brown and Cockadoodle Doo Pens. <laughs> Today we'll have a look at. <laughs> let's keep going. Shall we start on? No, right? let's keep going. Alright. Uh, we'll have a look at the Pelican. That's Not Pelican. Any Pelican, but the Pelican. The, the Pelican. This Pelican was Pelicaned over to us, was storked over uh -huh, see, to us is. by Applebaum Pennon. Apple bone pen. So thank you. Yeah, it's going back, just for the record. Yeah, we're not keep it. It is the Zuverain. 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 Burnt orange. M eight hundred. Okay. And this is a very fascinating pen. Now. Okay. Why don't we start with your first impressions? My first impressions. Well, okay. Just no, because no. we have to do it. The usual pelican box, not very exciting. And the thing with the leather, fake leather. Uh, bed and the pouch very underwhelming when you compare it to other pens of this price but that's fine because i really hate keeping packaging anyway but that's fine uh my first impression is the pen i was really excited it's totally an autumn pen it's got fall colors it's got like the brown cap and piston turning knob and section and the orange barrel it's like leaves changing color and all that stuff I don't even want to say this because it's so horrible, but it's like, oh, pumpkin spice latte. I don't even, I don't even know because I haven't actually tasted one of those. I have no idea what it tastes like. Probably that pumpkin. First impressions were that it's very fall. It's very nice. It was released at a nice time, and I, I, I really, I really like it. So, <sighs> sorry, that was a terrifying first impression. No, I like it. It was very enthusiastic. It left a good first impression. Uh, I hate it. No, no. Actually, I thought it was a. It is. It is a nice pen. The M800 is. <laughs> this is what I'm usually like. I'm sorry. The M800 is a pen that I think is a. It's it's a nice model. It's a nice size, and well, this is of course another M800. Um, the orange is definitely nice. I I was expecting something for some reason a little lighter. Uh, this is definitely a. But it uh, is called burnt orange. Yeah, exactly. I think it's a so pretty it, accurate. Yeah, probably. Know, yeah. Maybe? It's, it's definitely nice. Now what I like about it is that, at least to me, it doesn't look like cheap plastic. Um, it is resin, so... It is cheap plastic. It is plastic. <laughs> but it doesn't... It doesn't uh, look... So bad. She had a lot of coffee, sorry. <laughs> no, it didn't. I don't uh, even know what's wrong with me. She had a lot of sugar. Uh, she had... So it, it's... She had? Yes. It, it, it's, 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 I think it's nice because it looks like a... Het is mooi. Heel goed, Nederlands. Uh, het... Um, it's a it's a nice orange and I like it even though it was not exactly what I expected it looks nice it looks classy I've always loved the pelican designs for their very classy looks and I think this pen doesn't disappoint so my first impression was actually quite good now what makes it special well, well I guess it's the color yeah it's it's a special production special edition sorry not production special edition uh, color so it'll be around for for a while, and then they'll stop making it. It is not a limited edition. It's not a numbered model, no. uh, but it, it they will stop. So I mean, it. you don't have to buy it immediately, but exactly. at some point they will be gone. So now, what about your writing experience? We have heard your calls. We requested an extra fine nib to review, and which was actually really interesting yes. because um, we have in the Pelican Zuverain Zuverain series we have. Double broad, double broad stub. Um, triple broad. Triple broad, triple broad, italic broad. So it is a reasonable request to have requested this from you guys and also for us to do this. So um, I wasn't sure what to expect and I was actually really curious to try this. The first thing I noticed, I was like, wow, this looks really different to a triple broad. So there it is. Almost no tipping. Well, it has a well, lot of tipping when you compare it to a triple broad. broad. Yeah. Um, obviously a beautiful nib. Gave it a flush. And um, the writing experience. Okay. Of course I have an affinity for broader nibs. So, I can't say that I'm in love with the extra fine. However, no skips, no hard starts. Uh, well adjusted in that it had good ink flow. You know, it's not a gusher, it's not dry. And um, it, it, it wrote. So even it sat for a few days and picked it up again and it wrote. Um, the shape of the tipping is very interesting. The, the, it is a round nib, but the, the 
ball of tipping seems to be there you go at the bottom of the nib there and not you you can't really see anything on the end so the writing angle i had to assume with this was very um like low i don't know if that makes any sense but to get the right feeling on the paper so that the tipping was on the paper smoothly and not high up does that make sense yeah that makes sense makes okay. sense the tipping um, is not all the way, if you look at the side of the nib, the profile of the tipping is not all the way like this, which you would see in a... I guess what I'm trying to say is the sweet spot is yeah. relatively small. Yeah. And but it's also a, it's very little tipping. I mean that, yeah, no. and um, again, I'm not super used to extra fine nibs, so it, it did take a bit of adjusting for me. That's not to say it was a bad experience. And um, it did give me a little bit of feedback, but it's not scratchy. So it, it is a solid writing experience. And I do understand that, you know, the broader the nib, the, the chances of an over-polished tips are increased. So I was not really surprised that this one wrote very well. And, uh, I mean, it wrote. There were no issues with it. It's not... It's... When I consider, compare it to the M1000 nibs, this one is much more firm. And um, when I also compare it to our other M800 nibs, it is on par with those ones. So I don't think it's abnormal in its stiffness. That was a long ramble. That's all right. So the writing experience with the nib, it performed really well. I'm not crazy about extra fines, but it's also not extra fine if you're looking for an extra fine. It's, it's, it's a little on the broader side. Yeah. So it's more, for some manufacturers, this would be fine, I think. Yeah, and of course we know that. I mean, yeah. Yeah, like the nibs are a bit broader. Um, as for the pen size, and like using it, I have no issues with it like this. It's no issues. And you can post it. It is a secure posting. It's not going to fall off or anything, but it becomes a little big for me. So for me, using it like this, it's great. Super comfortable. I, I mean, we have, I think, two M800s, italic broad and the triple broad nib, and they're great. So, for me, I really enjoy the M800 size. I, Sorry, I, I think... rambled forever. No, no, you, you just, you just, you were just excited rambled about forever. the, about the... Uh, well, the, I was the trying nib. to explain the experience of someone who uses a lot of broad nibs, switching over to an extra fine. I don't know if I did. I, I... I'm I'm also known for for using a lot of broad nibs. So using an he uses fine, a lot of broads. I didn't say that. Don't believe everything they tell you. Um, this was interesting. This was not the first time I used a a Pelican extra fine. I had I have a vintage extra fine M well four hundred NN. That totally Pelican. does not count. No, but th that indeed that is a very different experience because that is a flex nib and this is definitely a pretty rigid nib. Also, that one is quite broken in, right? Because it's vintage. Yeah, yeah, so. it's definitely so. It is different, but this is an eighteen carat. This is an just, eighteen just carat. Just in case you're wondering. Um, it's a nice two tone nib. I I do think Pelican makes very attractive nibs. Yep. And even though I feared for the you know kind of feared for my life when I when I when I put this to the <laughs> that paper that you thought the pen would spin around think, and stab yeah, you yeah, with its like, extra <laughs> fineness. You know, because these things happen. Um, I actually started to write and I thought Brian Lane and basket. That's kind of why my exclamation for when interesting <laughs> things happen. Um, so I um, sorry, Brian. Um, I, I was I was actually very pleasantly surprised. Yeah. It's it's not nearly as horribly scratchy as I thought it would be. It's actually no, it's it not writes, scratchy. It That's writes the thing. well. Yeah. It's smooth. Not as smooth as the triple broad, no. but it's smooth, especially for what you get. You do get a fine line. Again, I wouldn't say this is an extra fine. This is definitely not a needle point line for you, who, who you guys who are really. We get that question that. a lot. Well, I do. And um, this is a if, so if, I, I yeah. If an extra fine me is too. fine. So I think fine. I think uh, the, the rumors are true. Pelican nibs run a bit on the broad side, but even so, I I think it's very nice. It's a well tuned nib, and because it doesn't have an excessive inflow like a triple broad or something, it just keeps going. Also, it's great for pretty much anything, right? Yeah, I mean, right? fill out forms or whatever. But you can even easy. use it on paper. I used it in uh, my sh crappy paper notebooks, like moleskins and... Moles yeah, because it's much drier. Moleskina, I don't, I don't know. It's much, much drier. What so is that, that actually? That, 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 that helps. So I think it's really good. Now, 
Uh, moving on, because we've been talking for a long time. What do you love about it? Well, I really, really do like this color. And I am one of those people who covet the Mont Blanc Hemingway. And I cannot afford it and never will be able to afford it. So I just have to fantasize about it and buy other pens that look sort of like it. And I think I this color is sort of like it. No. this color no. is pretty close. And the design of the pen, you know, from afar is similar. I think it's a very classy pen. Um, I even think the the color scheme. I mean, it is orange, but it it, it is classy. Yeah. You know, yeah. so. I mean, the tortoise. I love the tortoise shell ones. I love and um, they look great. But this one is really it, the solid. It just looks really good. I like it. It does look good. Um, I also love about Pelicans, you know, the interchangeable nibs. You can take the nib out to clean out the inside really well. I like that it's piston. I just think they're really good looking pens. They feel nice. Uh, what do I not like about it? Well, this one is pretty expensive, but we can go to that soon. But you kind of know that when you're buying an M800. You know you're not buying a cheap pen. Yeah, yeah well, that was also the flagship pen, so the, the model below it is also going to be expensive. That's just the way it is. I think this goes for both of us. The one thing that we don't like about this pen. I, I, or that kind of throws us. I think so. It does not have an ink window. No! <laughs> Why? Well, I guess it would just ruin it. Or yes. it would look too much like the Sailor Rialo. Yeah, but the, the orange but one. The problem is, usually but, Pelican has these stripe models, and then you have a stripe of the material, and then a clear strip, and then another stripe yes. of the material. Yes. But this is this There's is just not no way transparent. To know. This is an opaque pen. So even if you have ink in this, you hold it. You know, you take a World War II searchlight and you put it behind. You can still not see. But through also, the pen. it's such a heavy pen that you can't really gauge the ink level in it There's just by no holding way of it. Telling. Yeah. And that's so. is that a deal breaker? Well, to be honest, for me, it really isn't. But. No. The problem is that you just have no idea how much ink you have left. No, so you no. have to. Yeah. I think if you want to use this, especially in a setting where running out of ink is a problem, like in say a lecture or in business meetings, you need to ink it up right before you use it, or, or, or at take least keep an extra, ink or yeah, take an extra vial um, of ink with you, or and that's the way it is. And I think that that really is. I understand the choice. I understand that it might it would have ruined it. Be very appealing. Yeah. But I do think it, it hampers the usability a little bit because you just have no clue of gauging what you have left. Of course, a lot of Omos pens do the same thing, right? Yeah, so, so it's not... Is it a deal breaker? For me, it wouldn't be a deal breaker, but I do think it would be very useful to have that, at least if it's just a little bit of a... Well, it's a great or... reason to have it as a secondary M800. You know, your first one has an ink window or it's kind of see-through, so you're like, oh, I can just follow the ink through there and this now, way. <laughs> would um, you want to buy it? What's uh, the wait, price? Would you buy it? Um, Applebaum has this listed for 495 euros with VAT and 409 without VAT. Now that is more expensive than the recently launched, I guess, uh, Stresemann, mm -hmm. which I think was 470 or 475. I think something along those lines. I, I don't cheaper. know. I don't yeah. know if it's. I don't know what it is that makes the difference. This is all resin. That one was resin and cellulose acetate. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe At least you can see how much ink is in that one. I don't really know how no, it works, yeah. but um, well, so, yeah, no, I don't know. Huh? Special, I mean, it's just resin, so it's not, it's not a special material. The only reason I would not buy this is because we already have two other M800s. But okay, imagine we would not have other M800s. Would you buy that? Because not everyone has two M800s. I would consider this. Yeah, I would, and because it for is two such reasons. an interesting color. I really like the size, and the color reminds me so much of the other pen that I want so much. I think it's. A I would get pen. a different nib, but I I really yeah, like it. Of course, yeah. E ink window or not, which it is not. I think the M800 in general is a really lovely size, and I think when we did our previous series, nib, uh, the Peter Twilight's book, Fountain Pens, Peter Twilight Experience Pen Repairman says, according to him, the M800 is the ultimate pen. It's the, the the right size, the right ink capacity. It's it's perfect, and I'm not sure if I if I would say this is the ultimate pen, but it's definitely an excellent pen. Good size, nice and big, but not oversized. I think oversized. the ultimate pen is different for everybody. Of course, right? so. but this is pretty close. Also, it's in pretty price, awesome. It's I know it's not a cheap pen. This is not no. inexpensive. But on the other hand, you get a lot. You also, get a really if nice you're one pen. of those people who really love fall, this is the perfect pen. Yeah, or it's just burnt a pen, orange. A pen that stands out a bit. It's not. I know it's black and gold Actually, again, it's brown. but is it? No, it's very dark brown. Yeah, 
It's like the the brown. No, but I mean, I just say that because yeah, yeah, no, not no. to be horrible no, 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 but, to you. But, no, <laughs> but no, I mean, but it, 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 is, it is very dark brown. You that can, that it, does make it make it that. even makes it even better. I think even less boring, and the orange is really nice. Now, <clears throat> imagine you want to buy a pen. You have the budget, but you don't want this pen. But you want something similar. We haven't done serious image. Alright, alright, alright. All right. It's only the title of the show. Why should we? Is talk? it serious? <laughs> okay. Because I don't know what order I'm putting these up in, I have to keep saying this. This is the negative side, this is the positive side. There are no numbers because serious image is not an exact science, and we are sorry that we cannot make it exact. Um, so the meter is just kind of an approximation of our feelings towards pens. Uh, I put this quite high up on the meter there. I think the thing that takes it down for me is not the fact that it doesn't have an ink window because I have other pens that I am crazy about that don't have ink windows. I think it's just that the it's pretty expensive. But I mean, it's still pretty high up there on the meter. Yeah, I, w I would put it. I put it in a similar spot. It's, I it's, mean, it's, it's not like a ten out of ten, but it's 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 yeah, up there. It's I also really not. like the color. I understand this color won't appeal to everybody. Pelican also makes a black if you really want a you know a domestic type simple safe color that's fine but yes. um but then again today we covered this it's so great we're starting to look a little orange because the light is getting really crappy out yeah, there so we're so sorry okay now, so we're gonna wrap it up with what, what would else would you buy well if you got 400 this is 400 well dollars, let's just say 500 because it's 495 yeah, which is right. roughly approximate for europeans because well, that's would, the course, prices we know also buy something in the mont blanc range which is also you can get a 146 um, you would be able to you buy, get an Omas, you buy something Lord, in the Visconti, like a, a, a Homo sapiens around that price. Yeah, you could get a Homo sapiens, which I think uh, is five fifty. Yeah, Omas for sure. An Omas. Uh, um, the, the Ogiva cocktail would definitely be in this range. Cocktail is yeah. the new one, uh, but the Ogiva range would definitely be in here. I mean, clearly with such a budget, you can get a bunch of pens that are. But the nice thing is, they're all around nibs. on par. Yeah, piston yeah. fillers, you get gold nibs. And you would also get really nice pens. pens. Yeah. So yeah. that's yeah. tough. It's so like, what would you pick, or why not all? And you know, if you want, you can always send me your black M800, and I'll make it orange for you for five dollars, and a bucket of paint. No, no, there is no charge. Oh yes. Okay, so we will uh, wrap this up. But thank you again to Applebaum for lending us this pen. It is going back home. To you right now. We'll gladly see you later. I hope this was useful. Bye. 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 Or as the Dutch would say, dag. Dag. I didn't have time to secure my clip. I'll make it bon. Okay. The clip. The clip is secured. We shall now commence with the... Serious Nivage episode, another exciting and fascinating new Serious Nivage episode. This didn't work out, did it? Somebody pooped outside of our door. <laughs> okay, let's start over. Well, it, it really happened! We assume it was a dog. They also pooped outside the neighbor's door, so it's probably a dog. Hello and welcome to Wait, you don't want to... You don't want to stop and start again?